Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna show you a really fun Halloween file because we're getting close and so usually I'm super behind. Well, I am still behind, but I wanna get I wanna get you guys not to be behind. So we're gonna do a Halloween off the mat character, or I should say characters. So I got this file from the Salty Yankee. So Kayla, awesome. I wanna show you how to get there because I always get questions on where I'm getting my files. So if you're on Instagram, you can go to her link tree um, profile link, and then it will take you here and then visit her website. Um, or you can just type in the saltyyankee.com. We are doing the Sanderson sisters. <laughs> so I saw this and I definitely knew I wanted to do it right away because let's pull it up in design space and I'll show you why I like this file so much. Um, I haven't, this is the first time that I've looked at the file though in design space. So I don't know how big we can actually make this. But the reason why I like it is because you have a lot of pieces, but you have really big pieces. So um, for instance, look at her hair. We have one big orange piece, which we might have to end up slicing because if you see that dark orange, it is one piece. But because it's three characters, we can probably make this pretty big with and make the hair 12 inches, if that makes sense. Um, but I just like all the different layers. So they're big pieces. The skin, like the neck is separated from the face. So I feel like everything here can be seamless. Like her green jacket is great because look at this piece will be one piece by itself. So between the colors and the layers, I think this is gonna look just amazing. Um, I think it would look great in your like window because it can be really big for the trick-or-treaters to come. You could probably make a little banner to go with it. I don't know, there's just so many possibilities. All right, so first thing is, I feel like the biggest piece that we have is going to be um, the hair. Because if you look at the blonde hair, this might be a problem. So we might end up having to slice and make the hair um, like she has a, um, whatchamacallit, a part. A part right down the middle because this is, this is long from here to here. So we might have to do that. Um, we might even need to make like a deliberate seam right here. Kind of like how her hair curls like this we would make something like this. So it would be like another piece, like this piece of hair right here. Um, so actually I think the blonde hair is gonna be the most difficult thing because the orange hair we can slice down, we can make a part right here. For the brown, what could we do? We could extend this piece. I don't think the brown will be a problem though out of all these pieces, but if we needed to, we could extend this line down to here and then the brown would be separated into two pieces. So let's just do this first. Let's see what this looks like at four feet wide, okay? So let's do, well, let's just make this, I don't know, I may regret it, 50 inches wide, okay? I don't know, I just picked that. The height is 36 inches, so let me think about that in my head. Um, let's make this 48 inches. Hold on, let me think about it. 44 inches. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head. Okay, 44 inches and 31 inches. I think this is gonna be a good size. So it's going to be um, almost four feet wide and 30 inches high, which is normally what we do, right? Well, 31, 32 inches. Okay, so we've done that. Let's look at these pieces and see what we have. So basically, it looks like everything is already separated out. Let's look at the hair. The hair is 17 inches by 12. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to do something about that. Her blonde hair. Yeah, so we're gonna need to slice this in a couple places. So um, I'm trying to think what else we need to do. I think that's it. Everything else will be in pieces that you're ready to cut, it looks like. Um, oh, let's just check out the faces real quick. So let's go to contour. 
I think our faces are good, but let's double check because the face, I can't do anything about the face. I'm gonna double click here where the 628 is. Oh. So normally when you double click that, it, it defaults to 100%, but it's not today for some reason. That's weird, okay. Let's hide all and let's leave one face and see how big the face is. 10 inches by 12.42. So this is gonna be a little bit too big. I think what we need to do is we do need to shrink this down a little bit, a little bit more. So let's shrink this down to 40 inches just to make life easy on us. And now the face, perfect. The face should be good. All right, so I think we're ready. Let me go back to contour and bring back all the faces. So we're gonna do show all. And let's get started on this. Okay, so let's grab this whole thing and ungroup it. We're gonna start moving everything over to the side. Um, anything that is ready to go, like this piece, is 11 inches point three, but 15 inches wide. So we need to separate this little guy right here. Now with the orange hair, if you're gonna use, so what you can use is for this part, I would use glitter cardstock. If you're gonna use glitter cardstock, I feel like we can slice it right here and no one's gonna really notice the, um, the seams or what you could do, oh wait, let's see. I wonder if we can slice off these two right here. So you're not gonna notice the seams because it's so thin. Let's try that. So let's bring in a circle and we're gonna see if we can do that. And that way this big part will remain one piece, I'm hoping. And that would look much, much better. So, um, huh. I want to slice it like right there, okay? So just bear with me right now. We're going to slice it. We're slice you can only slice two things at one time. So I'm slicing the circle. I'm using the circle to slice it right here. But this requires some work because you see how the circle um cuts off this piece because it's a weird shape. So Follow with me right here. We don't need this circle, right? Um, we don't need this piece, but here we do need this. So what we need to do is we need to, this piece. Let's duplicate. Okay, and then on this piece, we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna get rid of the, this big piece right here, okay? So we're gonna click on it to remove it. So what's left are these two pieces. These two pieces we need to weld back together, okay? All right, so we've got this part. On this one, we can contour and get rid of this little piece because we already have it on the other side. And let's see what we have now. Now, I'm hoping that when we slice this off, that this piece will now be manageable. Let's see. So let's bring in another circle. So we have this little piece right here, right? You see where the seam is? No one is gonna notice that little, little seam, okay? And on top of that, if you're using the orange glitter cardstock from Cricut, you're not gonna be able to see it at all. It looks amazing. And I've used that a few times with, um, Baby Raja from Jasmine. So I did that big, big tiger. It looks so good. All right, so now we're doing the same thing on this side, okay? So I'm gonna grab this and slice. And we're gonna do the same thing because the circle did not encompass the whole tendril. <laughs> if, if, if it did, it would be so much easier. So we're gonna get rid of the circle. We're gonna get rid of this, uh, this slice result, right? We're gonna do this again. We're gonna duplicate this because we're gonna move this piece out of the way. And we're on that piece, we're gonna contour and we're gonna get rid of this little piece. And I, oh, I'm not sure. Let's look at this. 
um, contour and get rid of the big piece. That way it keeps these two pieces together. We're gonna grab that and weld it. So we've kind of put it back together, the two tendrils. And let's see if when we rotate this guy, so we're gonna unlock it. We're not gonna change the dimensions, but I want to rotate it to see if Oh, it's so close. It didn't work. All that work, it didn't work. We need to slice it. Okay. We were so close, but you know what we can do? Let's put this back. I'm going to make it work. Okay, we're putting it back. Okay, put these back in here, okay? Because we're going to reshape everything again. So I'm doing everything based on her hair. <laughs> so let's grab this whole thing instead of 40 inches, okay? Let's go down to 38 inches and see what happens at 38 inches. At 38 inches, let's rotate this. Oh, it doesn't work. It still is too big. <laughs> okay, hold on. Do you want to do this at 36 inches? Let's do it at 36 inches. So we've now gone down to three feet wide. And this now works. So you see this piece is now 11.1 by 11.2, so it will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let's do that. So we're gonna keep this at 36 inches because I feel like we're gonna run into trouble with um, this hair and this hair. So let's do that. So we've managed to make the orange hair look really, really good. <laughs> that was quite an adventure, right? But it's a really good learning lesson as to how design space works and why um, I'm doing what I'm doing, right? Um, so this is gonna look seamless. At this point, it's this project's gonna look really good because knowing that the hair is like that. All right, let's look at this really quickly. So these are four individual pieces, but they're, um, it looks like it's one, right? So we need to slice this apart in order to separate the pieces. You can do the slicing, so we can bring in a square, for instance, and so, I'm slicing this so that I'm removing these four pieces to be four individual pieces. So very similar to the way we got rid of the tendrils, but this time because these pieces are a little bit more easy to maneuver, so like I can cover my whole square and get it to cover the piece. So when I do this and I grab these two items, the orange hair and the square, I can slice it and that piece of the orange <clears throat> will now be separated from everything else and because it was completely covered in the square the whole piece is one item moving over as opposed to remember how we needed to weld back together the um, the tendrils that's why because it was a weird shape and we couldn't isolate it by itself okay so now i'm using the same square and i'm gonna whoops hold on I'm gonna make sure that that little piece right here is completely covered in the square. Oh my God, sorry. Let me undo this. I want my mouse to only pick up the square and the orange piece. And you see how this hair was really close by, but my mouse didn't go up and grab it. So it only grabbed two items, so I can slice this. If you grab more than two items, your slicing button down here will be grayed out. So. I will say usually like if you're having a slicing error, it's probably user error. <laughs> All right, so here's the other piece. This I could keep together, right? All right, so one piece down. Same thing with the green right here. Um, let's move this in. I'm gonna turn this square. Oops, hold on, let me do this so that you can see it better. Okay, you see how this little piece is sticking out? So I'm gonna rotate my square and make sure that it's completely covering here and that the green doesn't cover through here because that would cause another weird slice 
okay so my green is completely covered in this area I'm gonna slice And these eyes are so amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I have bags under my eyes, so I would hate it if someone drew this um, for me. But for the Sanderson sisters, this looks amazing. All right, so now her green is, look, it's 5.3 inches by 7.2. I, you know, it's going to look beautiful because it is seamless. Now, these are two pieces right next to each other. Um, so Forever Crafty, she does a lot of these off the mat characters and she um, and I bring her up because her stuff looks amazing. She likes to keep everything separated. So um, for me, with all these pieces, I'm tempted to make this one piece. So what I would do is I would bring in a little square because you might think like, what's the big deal? It's two pieces instead of one. But when you look at this overall like um, project, we have a lot of pieces. So while I'm only going from two to one, if I do that on a few pieces here, it will save me a lot of work in lining it up. So what you wanna do is, you wanna line this up nicely though. So let me move over to where we can see it. So you see these two pieces, what I would do is I would grab it and I would align bottom so that it's totally at the bottom. You're still gonna get the detail of the slit, it just won't be all the way where it's separated. Now the other thing is we can make this square a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna move this up and just make it a little bit thinner, sorry. And because I did that, I'm gonna realign it. So go to align bottom and now watch. I'm gonna duplicate this so that we have a comparison, but this is two pieces, right? And this is gonna be one piece. So I'm gonna now weld it. So to me, this versus this, to your average person looking at it, you wouldn't even know that this should have been two pieces versus one, right? But if we start doing that to a few other places, it's really gonna help us in the end in placing it all together. Like this purple right here, I might just put a little circle, so instead of this being four separated pieces, it will be one. It's easier to line up your project and then it's also fewer pieces that you need to keep track of and fewer pieces that you need to glue down. So that's my little thing. But if you wanted to see a comparison, I mean, look at it here. You couldn't even tell, right? But if you wanna see it in the work, like in actual pictures, you can always compare it to Forever Crafty because I know like when looking at her pieces, she has all the, you know, she has the pieces the way it's designed. So, all right. That's my little spiel. Okay, <laughs> let's look at this. All right, here we go. We can slice this apart as well. And see how like I know the green is completely covered because nothing's poking out through the empty spaces. So now I'm gonna grab these two and slice. So you're gonna wanna do that for all these pieces. I'm not gonna do it for all the pieces because at some point um, you get it, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna move that aside. Let's talk about the red though. So here's the red. It's 12.3 inches by 5.8. So I think that these three pieces can be together and these two pieces can be together. So all five pieces obviously can't be together, right? Because it's too big and there's a huge gap. Like you wouldn't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip this around like this so that I can isolate, I can slice out this piece right here. Okay, so let's grab this and slice. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna weld it like we did the green shirt. And because, again, it's just gonna be easier for me to keep track of the pieces. And when you're trying to line up and make sure that everything is balanced, it's a lot easier when these three pieces are together instead of trying to balance and line up all three pieces here. All right, but 
when you are welding pieces together, it does help to really zoom in to make sure that you're welding in the best place possible. So here, so for the hair for me here, I honestly, for this piece, I don't think it's a big deal. So I'm gonna do something like this. You can leave that little cut out if you want to, or you can unlock this and just stretch it out a little bit. Maybe that will look good. Yeah, so to me that keeps the shape still, but um, it'll fill this up and it'll be one piece. So I'm gonna weld that together. Okay, so that still looks like the general piece. This one I'm gonna also weld together. So that went from two to one. This is gonna go from three to one. So already we've eliminated two, three, four, four pieces, right? Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's make this smaller. And on this one, we could just like weld it right there. So it still has the cutouts right there. Let's duplicate this uh, circle and maybe put it down right here like that, okay? So now I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna weld it. So her hair will still have the details of these little slits, but honestly, I don't think that you can really say, oh my gosh, that's not the way it should look, right? It's still gonna look really good. So now we have the red. So let's move that aside. I'm only gonna do all the hard pieces, right? Um, I would probably do the same thing with the two pink pieces right here in the middle of her chest, if I can get to it. Okay. so. You see how these are two individual pieces? I would weld it right here so that it's two pieces with the little slit in the middle, but it's really one piece. This I would separate. So these I would separate as well. Let's look at the red here. Okay, and then let's also really quickly, let's go to color sync to see how many different colors we're using. So for me, like, um, I, the greens we need to, right? Because there's all these different greens. For the reds, I don't know if we need all these different shades of red. I might make this red the same as this red. So I changed the, her, like her red right here to match a little bit here, just so that I'm using one less red. Now I see some lips here, I think. I'm gonna also move that to a to this red right so we went from three different shades of red to just one shade of red for the pinks i see that there's two shades i'm okay with that now the orange is two shades as well and that was for the hair so i agree with that um white so the eyes for this one, for some reason, oh, it's the light blue. Okay, so we want to keep that. What are these? Okay. These are, I think these are part of the eyes. I would make them the same as the brown. Oh, the nails, they were her nails, okay. Um, It's up to you if you wanted to do a funky nail, but like, that detail is so tiny to me. I don't know if I would I would need to make it a different color. Um, or if anything, I would make them white. And they just look long and creepy. Okay. Um, I think everything else we need, right? Yeah. Maybe this one. This is her necklace. Um, now, I have seen this movie. I have not seen it multiple times, so I don't know if the pendant is something like um, that is critical, but if it's not, I would be tempted to make it another color. I would be tempted to make it match the brown of the eyes and the bags. Okay, because this is still a lot. Let's see, and this is her hair. Her hair is two shades of brown. Uh, okay. 
it is what it is. All right, I just wanted to make sure that we worked with that. Okay, uh, let's look at this purple. So this purple, like I said, I would probably put a little circle right here that would connect one, two, three, four, all four pieces, okay? So let's zoom in just so that we can do that because I wanna show you. So let's bring in a little circle. And let's just look at overall what we're talking about. This piece is three inches by two inches. So it's like this. It's small in this whole thing. To me, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Like it's not gonna impact how amazing this thing is gonna look if it's like that. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna duplicate this. So that's the original. And then this is what we have. So I'm gonna weld it. By the time we're done, we would have eliminated probably maybe 10 to 15 pieces, okay? So this may look a little funky, but it's got the design. And let's go back and put it over here. I don't think you're gonna notice that difference. You see what I mean? Um, but it's gonna save us a lot of headache tracking down four pieces versus one. and individually gluing each one to make sure they're lined up okay so i'm going to delete this put this over here so you can kind of see what we're doing um i think our problem areas will be the hair right <laughs> look at her boobs her boobs are so good here you're going to, we'll work on this in a second we'll talk about that in a second let's look at this so this is 11 inches across and 20 inches down. So yeah, we're gonna need to, let's look at the, oops, let me put this back. So we can figure out where we wanna slice up this girl, the hair. So this side will be fine. We need to put a little seam right here. So let's do that. Okay, so this is my favorite trick with off the mat. You need to have I Love Glitter as your font. If you don't have this font already, you wanna go to dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. The character that we're gonna use is the square bracket. It's the one to the left of the, to the right of the letter P. So when you put in your square bracket, you get this cool, oops, where are you? You get this little cool guy. So let me move this hair over real quick and we'll zoom in so that we can really see this. Okay, so you see, uh, let me move this backwards, arrange backwards this one I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna make sure that the width is the same as most of the hair tendrils and I feel like this is a good size okay so I'm going to flip it up this way and you see how the hair is going like this it sort of matches our little, like that, right? <laughs> okay, so let's grab these two items and we're gonna slice. And now your hair is going to be seamless because it looks like it was, it was met with a part, okay? So let's remove this. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's zoom out for a second. See, I mean, that looks so good. That looks like it should have been her hair, right? So that means this left-hand side will be seamless because her left-hand side is gonna be this big piece and these three pieces. I would be tempted to make this piece connected to this piece and this piece connected to this piece. So the left-hand side, in my eyes, should be two pieces, this big piece and this big piece, okay? The right-hand side we still need to work with. So this is what you need to do. 
we need to duplicate this. And because everything is so close, we're gonna use contour to remove the pieces, okay? So here we're, we click contour and we're going to hide this piece and this piece and this piece. So here's our left-hand side. It says it's 14 inches long, but remember we're gonna separate the bottom half. You're gonna do it the same way. You're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna to go to contour and we're gonna get rid of the top piece. That piece. Right, so now I have the bottom piece right here, which is only 3.3 by 5.5, so it's perfect. We can cut that and it's gonna be seamless. And then over here, we're gonna get rid of these pieces. And that's 6.3 by 9.3, right? Her hair is going to look amazing. So, ooh, let's move this for now. On this one, let's get rid of the left-hand side so that we only have the right-hand side. So we need to slice this up a little bit more. I'm tempted to slice it right here and make a deliberate cut a deliberate seam like we did just now with her with her part down the middle so let's put this back and I'll even put this side back so you can kind of see what the part looks like hey it looks so good okay um yeah I think if we did something right here so again We'll take a, um, we'll do the right bracket again, or the square bracket. And let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And I would probably put it somewhere up like this. Ah, let me undo that. I did not mean to do that. Let me make it smaller because that's now gigantic. Okay, there we go. I wanted to just move it actually. I want more of the curve so that looks more natural. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe something like that. All right, let's grab these two and slice. And let's zoom back out. Okay, so now we need to duplicate this because we need to separate the pieces, right? And hopefully, let's contour. Let's get rid of this piece and this piece. We're left with a five inch by 13.6, but if we rotate this, this, will, this should be fine. So rotate it and then unlock it. You should be able to see the new dimensions. Oh, it's close. Okay, there we go. 10.5 by 11.47. So that's going to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. On this one, we're going to contour and we want to get rid of the big piece that we just looked at. Okay, so there's her blonde hair. This we can get rid of. So, all right, what do we have left? Um, we have this hair. Let's look at this one. Oops, got the face. Um, so the hair, I think if we separated these pieces, um, let's see. Okay, so let's grab a square. Okay. 
and I just need to check one thing while the square is coming in okay make this really big rotate it so that only the hair up on top is in my square right and then oops oh geez sorry Mm, I don't want that. Oh, I need to let it catch up. Sorry. Cancel. You know, my fingers are like ready to go. It's such a cute project, but a lot of details right but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna look so good all right so let's grab these two items and slice okay so we're gonna remove all these pieces this one's fine 10.3 by 12.7 ah Let's rotate it a little bit and see if that makes a difference. And unlock it. Ah, oh, it's so close. Okay, it's not gonna work. We need to slice this up a little bit. So on this one, what would I do? I would slice it right here, right in half, and I would do the same thing that we've been doing, right? So let's bring in our text, bring in our square bracket again. This square bracket, honestly, is like so stinking helpful. Let's zoom in and we're gonna do one more slice with this hair. Here we go. So let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, and let's twist this around. So kind of like that. And we're gonna connect it right there. So let's zoom in a little bit more so we can really see what we're doing here. Okay. So I would make this a little bit thicker. It looks like to match this, right? And then I would move it like that. That looks pretty good except for this part right here. So hold on. I'm gonna twist this just a bit. Ow! <laughs> Let me undo that. Everything's moving on me. Okay, I wanna see if I can even zoom in a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that's gonna look pretty darn good. So see how it's curving 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 all the way in oh it's gonna look so good okay so let's grab the hair and our little bracket and slice and we're deleting all these pieces okay that looks really, really good. That looks almost perfect. There's just a slight piece right here that was not perfect, but pretty good. <laughs> Let's zoom out. You're not gonna notice that. And, oh dude, that looks so good. So now what you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna duplicate and contour to separate the two pieces. And there'll be pieces that will fit on your Cricut. So let's go to contour. And here's piece number one, seven and a half inches by 11. Piece number two. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So I think that is all of the hard pieces. Oh, except for the face. Okay, so for the face, what I would do is I would slice them up so that each person is by itself and then contour to separate the neck and the face if you need to, right? Um, so let's do, let's do a few so that you guys get it. And 
I know I'm not showing you all the steps, but if I did, it would take so long. So, but I'm, in my humble opinion, <laughs> oh my God, I keep hitting the wrong button. I want to go get the square. Um, I do think I'm showing you everything though. So you should be able to manipulate this file by the time we're done. Okay, so let's like, for instance, let's make this big enough and let's slice out the first sister. Okay. So the first sister is 8.4 by 12.1. If you wanted to and you didn't want to slice her, I think we can make this diagonal and yeah, 10.1 10 by 9.9. .9. So you wouldn't even need to do anything with her. Um, so that's her. This one, we'll rotate it this way. And we'll do one contour on this one, okay? So this is cutting close to the hand. I wanna rotate this just a little bit more to make sure that the hand is not there, okay? Now I'm gonna grab these two and slice. Okay, I'm gonna show you on this one, okay? Because we're separating two pieces, the chin or the neck from the face, we want two separate pieces, then you need two copies. If you wanted to separate this into three pieces, you need three copies. All you have to do is go to contour and hide all. Oops, hold on. I want the neck and not the face, for instance. And now the neck is separated, do you see? So on this one, you go to contour and all you do is you get rid of the neck. And now, the face is separated from the neck, okay? So the reason why you use contour instead of slicing in this case is because the pieces were so close together, it would have been really difficult for me to isolate her chin or her neck away from her face. So in that case, I'm using contour. All right, so I'm not gonna do these two because I just showed you how to do that one. So I think the only difficult piece left is the black background. So let's pull this black background all the way down here into a clean spot. I have this file on my website, um, not the file, but how to slice this. So what you would do is you would buy it <laughs> and then um, the SVG file, It's called. they're called squares. So I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go in here. I've already uploaded it. So it's a three by, th mm, I'm gonna do the four, but it comes with two sets of squares, four by four, which is 44 inches by 44, and a three by three. But I'm bringing in the four by four because it's bigger, so I can, you, we can always um, remove the squares to make it fit our piece, which is why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so here's our square, our grid, right? These are perfectly flush squares with each other. It's available for purchase. Okay, so first thing that you wanna do is you wanna put it somewhere then you're going to go to the position feature and you're going to round to the nearest whole number so i'm going to round 3.7 to 4 and 59 to 60 okay and the reason is that way it's completely lined up right now we're going to scroll down get our black background and select it and go to arrange send to the front so that we could see where we're slicing everything okay so when you're slicing, you want big pieces. You don't want small pieces. For instance, you don't want something like this because this tip right here is gonna be its own piece, right? It's being sliced off and to tape it back together, you don't want that. We want big pieces. So I'm looking at something like this. So these are all big pieces. I don't see any small pieces. I like this. So now I'm gonna to go to my squares. I don't need this whole section, right? So I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna delete this bottom set, grab it and delete it. And now we're just gonna slice our way around this piece. So this is going to end up being 
it's a big piece i'm trying to think if there's anything that we can do but we can't it's such a you know odd shape with everything i think this is the best that we can do so we're going to grab one square at a time with the image and slice and we're just going to slice all the way around and because it's such a big piece um I'll show you in a second what I would do. I As we slice, I would move, oh, hold on, let me undo that for a second. I think it shifted my image for some reason. Okay, let's slice one more down here. So we've sliced off the far most right side, right? So I would move it over here and just keep it in order. And delete this. Then do our next set. Slice. And then slice this one. and slice this one. And did we do this? So oh, I should have saved this at the beginning. I honestly do not remember. I think it was 36 inches. Right after you do your sizing, you should save it. <laughs> because if you ever have to, you know, um, go in to fix a mistake, it's easier that way. All right, let's do this, delete that, do our next section of slicing. I probably won't get to making this until October, mid-October maybe. So you guys will have to do it without me, but I think I've given you all the tools to do it. So I can't wait. Please tag me whenever you make stuff. I love to see the projects. It makes me feel um, very fulfilled. So I love, I just, and I like to see like the different things that you guys do with it. You know, like maybe you made a change and it's just like your ideas then makes me think of new ideas and then makes you think of another new idea. So it's just, um, this awesome cycle of creativity so all right i think do we have everything let's see okay so that piece this piece we're almost done okay so i didn't slice that yet All right, so I think we've got our black background. It's just like a puzzle off the mat. It's like um, you're making something really big that your Cricut technically can't cut as is, but as we slice it all up into pieces like a puzzle, we can put the puzzle back together. Now the background's not as important, right? Because we have all these beautiful colors on this picture. So the seams are gonna be covered by all the other seamless pieces of colored cardstock that's gonna be beautiful and this is gonna look amazing. All right, so if you have any comments or questions, please post them here. I hope that was a fun tutorial for you. This piece is gonna look amazing. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day, bye.